Dudes back in Power Wash Simulator. Today, we're going to clean a playground at Muckingham, Muckingham Recreation Ground. I bought a couple of things. I realized what my problem was last time. I was buying for the wrong model of sprayer. I bought the orange one. I needed the blue one. So we bought some new things. We're going to give this a shot. 500 bucks in the bag any second. So we're just going to jump into this because I have to uh, go to work tonight. So we're going to do this. Let's do it. Let's see. I've got a frankly ridiculous situations on my hand. You see, some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, and a few fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I'd be most grateful. Okay, so we're going to clean the dinosaur at the park. You know, I've always wanted to wash a dinosaur, but if Jurassic Park is any indication of what happens when you try to go near dinosaurs... Um, yeah. Okay, let's see here. How do we... Oh, here we go. So, here we go. I got... Okay, so let's see. How do I... I, I still can't change it. Maybe I gotta do it outside the game or something. I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna go at it. We have a ladder for what? The roofs? Oh, well, we'll just get at it like this. I'm not sure how to, uh... Uh-oh, I forget how to do this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're going to have at it and see what we can do here. Oh, yeah. It's as good as I remember. I've been playing uh, Just Cause 3 in my spare time, or 4 in my, just in my spare time. I was talking about this the other day. And it's nice to do something that's not that. Let's see here. Do we got anything else? Oh, yeah. Look, at, look how clean this is. Look how good I'm doing already. Okay. Yeah, this is going to take a while. I can feel it. The playground's going to be a bear. See if we can get the back of these ropes. Well, they as as the levels increase, I've noticed they've increased like the nooks and crannies that you have to go through. Oh, the ladder's cleaned. Okay, nice. The, or the cargo net, as the case may be. This is what you get for having dirty kids. You know, I have no respect for parents that have dirty children. Okay, get this clean. Wash your kids. I was always honest about this before. I want like keep your kids clean. Don't let them go on the equipment. If they're dirty, this is just simple rules, people. They're dirty and they got gooey hands. Rinse them off. I should just go buy some cleaner and just go to town, but I don't have a lot of money, so I can't really overly clean this thing. Oh, yeah. This is like I needed this. I needed this before I go to work. Sometimes you just ooh, can I oh, I can crawl. I can I can't stand up in here, though. Okay, just spinning around, making everybody dizzy. This, this is a problem. Okay, let's see. Ew. Oh, my God. I missed so much. Get down here. We're going to probably do the floor in here. Yeah, okay. Might as well do it while we're in here. There's no sense in wasting time being in a place, you know? Gross. Like, what are these kids doing, man? Like, I had a stepdaughter, let me tell you, and she was never this. Like, she was dirty. But she wasn't, th like, this level of dirty. Get her all nice and done. Man. They need to add this to, like, driving games where you get to clean your car like this. Especially, like, Snow Runner or something where you have to get, like, all the mud off your truck. Oh, yeah. I would be into that. Or have an automatic mode where it just takes it off for you. Oh, yeah. We're getting in the cracks now. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Couple spots aren't getting that clean that easy, but otherwise, it's getting real clean real fast. Oh, I love it so much. I don't know why. Oh, what I do? It's not what I wanted. Okay. There we go. Okay. How are you guys doing, by the way? I'm doing great. Look what I'm doing. I'm having a good time. Oh, my God. It's still so good to me. And it's weird because the game is totally annoying, too, at the same time. Where it's, like, really hard to get things clean. And, like, you're always, like, pissed off at the end when you miss some little thing that you got to do. Yeah, I'm going to clean under this bridge. Kids wiping boogers and stuff under here. You just know it. Come on. Oh, baby, you're just getting so clean. Gonna make it so clean for you, baby. You know, I'm still enjoying the crap out of this, though. 
It's definitely not my most popular series, but it definitely uh, cranks a certain thing in my in my insides that I love. I love this. I love it so much. Like it's ridiculous. How? Oh yeah, we claim to climb and wall. Mm, okay. I just I, I have no words for how much I love this. And we're saving that dinosaur for last. Well, other than maybe the floor. If you haven't played this yet, you need to go out and give it a shot because it is literally the most satisfying thing. I keep saying it. I know. Shut up. Leave a guy alone. Let him have his moment. All that internal rage is being washed away from the long drive. Oh, yes. I'll tell you. Uh, sometimes people say stuff in the comments and I'm just like, what? Like a guy commented about us, oh, you can't die in the accidents. And I said, what? I've died lots of times in the accidents in my other game. I think it's funny. It's just like, it's just that kind of game where, I don't blame the guy either. I'm just saying it's that kind of game where so much is happening in it that you can't really experience it all. It's like nearly impossible to experience that whole game. And sometimes things don't happen for a long, long time. Like I said, I've only found, what, two trucks now? Three, I think, total in the last thousand kilometers. So, like, it's just one of these. And other people I've seen, like, start the game, drive down the road and find a truck. So, it's just one of those things. And that's the beauty of a game like The Long Drive is every individualized experience is different. And I like that. There we go. I do highly recommend, though, if you're looking for a game to play that's fun and action-y, is uh, the Just Cause 4, man. Like, it's worth nothing right now. Like, you can get it, like, dirt cheap. And for a few hours of fun, it's worth the 10 bucks or whatever it costs. Like, it's just one of those games that's so good. I'm thinking about hitting it with the Universal Cleaner just so I can get it done a little faster. Oh! Get clean, you ugly mat. Let's go. Let's see here. Ooh, this stuff works so well, though. It really does. Oh, I should go in here, maybe. Oh, get in here. Okay, yeah. Let's get in here. All right, and we'll do this pull. Oh, what the heck's going on in here? At least I can stand up in here. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to use is that Universal Cleaner because it sucks up all my money. But that's all right. Let's see here. Go 1, 15. Let's go back down to ground level and work our way back up. Wet the slide so I can slide down it easier. Okay, here we go. This is still super dirty. All right. I'm going to do a couple of these smaller items to get some more money, I think, because I'm, I'm getting disappointed I'm not hearing the ding. Like, how'd this bench get this dirty? Like, I wanted, I want answers to what happened here. It's like it was underwater for months. Was there a flood or something? Bench is clean. Okay, garbage can. Ah, oh, see, now this is what I like when you get that, that instant gratification. Perfect. That's what we need. More instant gratification in this world. I'm going to start my own society. The Society for Consistent and Immediate Gratification. SIG for short. Got it. Okay. Oh, I bet you we can clean that pretty quick. Boy, I'm glad you're not under a time limit. But Jesus. All right. Wait a minute. I see another bench. Oh, this is red underneath all this dirt. Red and yellow, look at this. Same bench as over there. Come on, bench. You're just about clean, bud. Got it. Okay. What if I can clean this real quick? Be funny if you stood on this and it spun from the water pressure. <laughs> that would be hilarious. I would be on board with that. Let's do this. Come on. There, look at this. Ah! Let's get, oh, I like the shiny metal parts. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Just wash all the dirt off of the... 
I used to love these things when I was a kid. These merry-go-rounds. We used to call it the roundabout when I was a kid. And uh, we used to have one on our playground, but they removed it because kids kept getting hurt because you'd hold on to the bar and you get some other kids to spin it as fast as they could go and then you try to fly out from the edge and then people would fall off and you know you break a you break a few wrists and suddenly everybody's like, oh, you're not allowed to play here anymore. Ugh. Kids have got to get hurt, man, I'm telling you. Breaking the bone's not the worst thing. Okay. Taxes. Taxes are worse. But I like paying my taxes because I get services for those taxes. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Oh, no, I didn't get the underside of it. Ah, oh, jeez. It's always me in the undercarriage, man. Never quite do as good a job there as I should have. Whoa! What happened? Okay. Alrighty. Oh, there we go. Roundabout. There we are. Okay, there we are. There we are. These. Okay, so that's clean. That's clean. Okay, so we just really got to do everything. All right, so <laughs> let's get the slide clean. Like when I was a kid, kids used to go under the slide to kiss. I don't know what they're doing behind the slide nowadays. But it ain't kissing. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Oh, goodness. Okay, here we go. I wonder if this thing's considered its own thing, this bench. Or is it part of the playground equipment? I don't even know. I like the ding. I'm addicted to the ding. Ew, gross. People wiping their boogers under the chairs. Who wipes their boogers under the chairs like that? And all you people who are looking, laughing, going, ha, ha, ha. I wipe my boogers under tables and chairs. You're gross. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, stools are cleaned. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay. Oh, awning clean. Nice. Ooh, okay. Now we're doing better. Getting more dings. I'm happy about the dings. It's nice to have a little tiny reward. Like, you don't want to get too good at rewards, and then you get used to them. You got to be ready to suffer in life, you know? If you're not suffering, you're not doing it right. The road is long. And then, you know, <laughs> it's just takes a long time to do anything good in life. I read a statistic the other day that said 54% of uh, current youth want to be an internet influencer. Like, why, why would you want to be this? You're better than this. You're way better than this. You're way better than being an influencer. Do, do real things with your life. Don't get me wrong. You know, some influencers are great. But the truly great ones compared to the amount of garbage is really insane. And you all know what I'm talking about. Like, I think I'm terrible at this. People always say, oh, no, you're really good at it. It's like, no, I'm terrible. Look at some of the quality that people put out. Now, I might appeal to you as a person who's watching this. But we both know there are way better people out there on YouTube than myself. Ugh. I'm a mediocre at best. All right, let's see here. Don't want to blow my own horn here. When you start congratulating yourself, you're kind of an idiot. I actually don't have that much left to do. This little building here, obviously, but... And then the ground, and we should be good to go. Well, and the dinosaur, I think. Well, this is taking over an hour. I've been doing this for over an hour. I want this thing clean. What is this thing? A, a climber? Is this what this is? I don't know. I'm too old for this. Ain't climbing stuff. Not this age. Okay, let's do this. Come on. Supposed to be a quick video scapegoat. What happened? What happened? And up here. Okay, let's see. Stupid suns. The suns are a pain because I got all these little angles on them that are hard to get into. Yeah, kids, don't bring your dogs up here. They can fall. And that's a bad thing for a dog. Dog footprints up here. Like, what the heck? Kids these days. Trying to look for the next big thing, I guess. Dogs on climbers having fun. Leave your towers clean? Oh my goodness, that, that worked out great. It's like the game knows I'm in a hurry. We're getting there. We're just about there. Holy sugar. 
Books is probably upstairs wondering what's taking so long. <laughs> okay, here we are. Okay, let's get that. Let's see, where are we? How are we doing in here? You know what? Not bad. Not bad. Oh. Now, does the tower include the bottom section? Is that? Oh, it does. All right, cool. Give me this ladder. All right, back up to the roof. There we are. Come on, baby. Oh, I'm getting energized because there's not much left. This was a hard one, man. It's hard to see the dirt on the yellow roof when the thing lights up orange. So we're just going to assume it's pretty okay. Oh, wait a minute. I, gotta, I can't use the ladder on the other side, can I? All right. Well, that's fine. Maybe I can just stand on top of this climber. Aha! No, don't slip. Okay. 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 We just fell off of that. All right. Okay. Back around here. Whoa! No safety straps is nothing. There's nothing. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. Get that side up. All right. I was hoping it would allow me to stand on this, but apparently it's a round object and it doesn't like to be standed. St stand it on? Did I just say that? Okay. Well, this is not, this is not working. All right. <sighs> Okay, <laughs> ladder, cooperate, buddy. Jeez. Okay, come on. Oh, okay. What if I tackle it like this? Alrighty. I just need to balance on you for like one second. Just stop. I think the front of that roof needs to be done, and that's why it's still dirty. So we're going to try to get to that uh, monkey bars there and see if I can stand on this. To oh, ho, ho. yes, I can. Oh, the roof's clean. Okay, there we go. We'll get top of the monkey bars while we're up here. There we go. Look at this. Come monkey on your bars, children. They're so clean. Oh, you know, sometimes you just get all happy about things, and this is one of those days for me. Just clean, clean, clean. Clean your problems away. Up that side. Cleaned. Okay, the monkey bars are cleaned. I think that's all the things except the floor and the dinosaur. So we're going after the dinosaur now. Oh, wait a minute, the roof. Oh, no, we got the roof of that already. I think it's just a dinosaur in the floor. Like, were these kids throwing mud at the dinosaur? What's wrong with you children? When did breaking stuff become fun? I just don't understand. Like, yeah, maybe your own stuff, but like other people's stuff? Come on. Oh no, I gotta go under the dinosaur, don't I? This is just like when I worked at Jurassic Park. Go under the dinosaur. Milkin. It's a male. Ha ha, funny, funny. All right, this, you know, I'm not fall rat trick again. Okay. Dinosaur milk tastes funny, too, I just want to tell you. All right, let's get up there. This poor Stegosaurus, man, just getting all dirty like this. You know, if you had real dinosaurs a la Jurassic Park, you probably would hose them off from time to time. I have to imagine, they hose off elephants. Those are giant creatures. If I owned a dinosaur, I'd hose it off once in a while. Why not? Like washing your car, except it can eat your grass, too. Or your face, depending on the model of dinosaur you own. The new Ford Tyrannosaurus Rex. If you don't like your family, it'll eat them. Okay, let's just back and forth on these a few swipes. All right, there we go. All right, we're going to have to do something here. Let me see. Shop. Cleaning liquids. Plastic cleaner. I'm buying this. This is taking too long, and I want to get this done because I got to go to work, and I'm already way overbooked on my time. And what's this? Plast Universal Plastic Cleaner. There we go. 
I never thought in my lifetime I'd be sitting down here cleaning a dinosaur's armpit. Done. Okay. So that is pretty much everything except the ground, which... Fuck it. We are going to use my universal cleaner on everything. And I don't care how much it costs. I don't care if it'll make any money. We're cleaning this up like this. Because I do not have time anymore <laughs> to be doing this. Like I said, the one thing I do like about it is you don't have to get everything perfectly clean. You just got to get it really clean. So if I blow through all my money, I don't care. It's not like I'm using my money for stuff I could get anyway. Every time I buy something, it doesn't show up. Actually, that's really clean under there. All right. <laughs> Finally! Two hours of doing this. Oh, my God. It's clean. It's clean. The whole uh, job complete. Open the tablet to continue. You got it. Watch it happen, people. Before your very eyes. Escape code is once again victorious over dirt. That's the only thing I can beat in a fight. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here because, my God, it has been two hours. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please, you know, leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. We can do one of these ones next time. Well, we'll do the golf cart because that's quick and easy. But thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. This took way too long, and I got to edit like a madman to get it done before work. Love you all. Out. <laughs>